Hi guys, it's Craig here, and happy Homebrew Wednesday. It's number 10 for me, and welcome back. Just finishing off a little bit of a Cooper's IPA here that I've been drinking for the past week. Mmm, good stuff, boy. Good stuff. Today I've got a few things I have to do. First of all, I'm, I've got to... Remember last week I, um, I made that batch of wine, right? And now I have to siphon it into a carboy. See, like one of these things. Right, which I've already cleaned, so it's cleaned out. But I have to sanitize it, to sanitize it. But first, I have to make the sanitizer. This time, I'm using Iota Four, uh, which I've I got from uh, a place nearby. So it's messy stuff, and it's stains and everything. But we're gonna I get some water in here, and I've got a uh, grab the cam, grab the iPad here, so I can sort of do this on camera and uh, see here. Here, there's the, so I've got four liters of water and four milliliters of iota four. Boom. Just rinse that out, get it all out of there. That's how you do that. That's messy stuff, but it does work very well. I'm just gonna throw that sink for a minute. And grab this and give it a stir. And that is our sanitizer for today. I'm also going to be kegging uh, a batch of beer later too, so I'm going to use this for that as well. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to pour that into um, a funnel, into the, the, the carboy, and sanitize that. These glass ones are heavy. Oh my goodness. There. I got it on camera. I'll do the rest off camera, if you don't mind. Okay, so of course, then you're going to sanitize your, uh, your, 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 your siphoning thing or whatever. That's what I've just done here. Okay, and I've got the siphon going. Now we're siphoning into the carboy. I don't want to show you the floor because I just spilled a whole bunch of sanitizer down there. And I got stuff. <laughs> it's too bad it wasn't on camera. I uh, dropped some... Uh, yeah, anyway, there's going into the... The fermenter down there. Doing this video on the fly here. So now the next thing I have to do is, while that's siphoning, it's going to take a little while. While that's going, I have a beer I want to taste that I got from Iceland. Oh, I don't have an opener. Let me, I guess I'm going to have to try it another way. I don't know if I can do this. A screwdriver. Oh, hang on a second here. Right. Now, before I taste the beer, I'm going to read you. I think I pulled a muscle in my neck doing that, by the way, so just so you're happy. <laughs> I'll read you the, uh, the, the note that was sent from the person who sent this to me from Iceland. He says, oh, that's why I put these here, because I need them. He says, hi, Craig, thanks for tasting the Icelandic amber on your live broadcast, which I did. I tasted, tasted it on uh, Justin TV. Here's some info for you about this beer. Okay. The beer's name is Jola Caldi. Actually means Christmas cold. So I'm a little late tasting this beer because it's January now. So, But it's 5.4% alcohol. The Icelandic, uh, Icelandic uh, brewery that makes this beer is called the Brewery at Arsk... Oh, you guys can... That's... Right there, you can pause it and figure that out for yourself. So I'm doing my best here. I mean, I am doing my very best here. He just tells me to call him Ziggy Lee Lewis. Or Siggy, sorry, Siggy Lee Lewis. Uh, he sent me a new picture of himself as well, which I'll show right now. Thank you very, very much, Siggy, for sending me this beer. Um, I have had the one already. But I don't remember the taste because I was doing my broadcast, so it was kind of on the fly. So what we'll do now is check my siphon. Oh, it's got a long way to go yet. We'll give this beer a whirl. Take these damn things off there. <laughs> hey, I've had a few beers already, so, you know, I'm three sheets. Here we go. Here's the label, by the way. Okay. I can't pronounce any of that stuff, so there it is from Iceland. 
Let's give it a try. Oh yeah. Glass is a bit too small for that, but uh, for us aesthetic purpose of purposes, but that's all right. It's nice and clear. Oh yeah. Cheers to Iceland and to Siggy for sending me this beer. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I much enjoy it. It's uh, all the way from Iceland. Awesome stuff. It's a Christmas beer. Let's give it a whirl. Cheers. Wow. There's like an orange peel, brown sugar, kind of molasses taste to it. I'm just guessing. Uh, it has a very f sort of an orangey sweetness to it. And almost like a, you can see the dark, the, he says, he's talking about the dark color. You can um, taste that sort of slight caramel flavor in there. So it's an orangey, caramelly. Lots of carbonation. It tastes like um, like carrot cake or something. It just it's just so good. That's what it tastes. That's what that's what it gives me. Sort of a, you know a sweet holiday flavor, and that's I think what it's intended to do, because it's a Christmas beer. So thank you very much, uh, Siggy, for sending me this, and uh, thank you so much for letting me try it. It's awesome. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Thank you. Ah, I'm getting half loaded now. All right, so how are we doing on our siphon here? We're almost done. So I'm going to stop this for a second and get this finished. We'll come back and we'll finalize the video. In a month, you've got this perfectly, beautifully clear wine, whether it's red or white or fruit, whatever you decide to make. These kits do work very well. Mmm. Too good. Too good to be true. So that's the end of this Wednesday homebrew uh, video. I've uh, had enough. I think I have to go. Uh, uh, cheers and beers. No 2012 fears. As long as you got some wine, everything will be fine. And so that's all I can say. Oh, it looks like I'm double fisted. Okay, I gotta go. Cheers.